And then my, my last question on this, like, what is uh, co-parenting like for you guys? Ha <laughs> 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 <Tim>, you're awesome. <laughs> So I'm about to take her to Sally's. We're gonna go and get some developer. So we're gonna try to get this together. Yeah, I have to pick up some more developer because I'm out of my my I'm yeah my cream developer. I'm out of my 20 and my 30. I have bleach. This is House of Tinks, and this is Fashion Over, of course. Ooh. And I need to go brush through my little hair, but I think she's fine. She a little wind blown, but she. She'll do. It's August sitting over here looking like this for me. Why do you have to talk to him like he's illiterate? Bite the shit out of her. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's real good. It's okay. It smells like gas. Yeah, it, it, it smells like gas. We were supposed to vlog when we was in Saddles, but girl, we over here in Walmart now, so it is what it is. You see the time of day it is, huh? I split the pole. I, I actually did though. Oh wow, how dare you. Because I can. Where are we parked? I don't know. Right here. Yeah. You should always know where we parked. Where? When I drive my car and don't know where we parked. It smells like gas. Oh. I hope we don't be like Monique and our trailer blow up. So I'm sitting here washing dishes, getting my um, crawfish clean. Please always clean your crawfish tails. <sighs> clean your crawfish tails. If Tyler Perry, because between Mia, Copa, and sisters, Tyler, baby, I ain't gonna play with you. If Karen wind up with these twins in different sacks, and one's for Zach, and one's for Aaron. I'ma quit watching Sisters. Now I, I watch stuff from day one and all of that, but it's it's getting a little and and it's just we always see what what Tyler Perry is alluding to and what he doing, and I just I can't. Okay, I I can't. Just like he rushed the end of Mia Culpa, and, and she was up there. All in for her man because she was having these issues and all this. Like, um, if Tyler Perry pulled this, count me out, honey. Count me out. Okay, so for this recipe, and I'm not probably not gonna talk the whole time. I like a yellow onion. Um, sometimes we do sweet onions, but this one is a yellow onion, some green onions, green pepper. I'm a, well, green bell pepper, right? You can use one pack of crawfish. I'm going to do two. That way, if they want some for dinner, they can have it. Make sure. Uh, I would usually have a jalapeno in here, but Bay can't really do the spicy stuff. So, and being that I've been vomiting so much, I don't just necessarily want to do it. Normally, I would do potato bread, but we are here in Texas, and I could not find any sliced potato bread. So, I just picked up some Texas toast, and you can use regular toast, but I like this one because it's thicker. If you really want to be fat, you can use some garlic toast, um, and it's just going to give even more flavor <coughs> to it. You need some shredded cheese, you need some regular cheese, you need some evaporated milk, or you can use regular milk. So, that's all the ingredients and seasonings. Breaking bricks, 
Ballin' in the fucking mix. You see, bitch, you can't act like you don't know. Um, we're gonna walk around and see what they have in here. I definitely wanna go to Sephora. I definitely wanna go to like a couple of clothing stores. I'm taking you to the Bahamas. She I'm gonna take you to the Bahamas, bro. <laughs> I'm full, I'm stuffed, and we're gonna get in the car. I got one more stop and then we headed to the house because, um, yeah, I can't breathe. My stomach feel like it's in my throat. All right, so it is the end of the day. I'm gonna get my little um, letter openers. My mom gave me these, there's two of them in there. And so, Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. It was a cute little gift, you know, when people give you gifts and stuff. So, I got this from Fancy Lash today. Now, you know I always uh, rave about how I have allergies and I'm a contact wear, right? I'll do the eyeliner glue, and I started using that with like Fancy Lash. I mean, I really am trying to record. Harper, go sit down. Stop, Augie. So I actually found one, I think it's by Nabi, N-A-B-I, on Amazon, right? And so it came two for $7. I got a clear one and I got a black one, which I will probably show that to you tomorrow because I'm not near that. But I went ahead and also ordered the one from Fancy Lash with a few other things. So we're going to go ahead and kind of unbox it real quick, see what it is, because I just thought it was so cute. I got some more lashes and, of course... I got the um, eyeliner. So here goes the eyeliner. I've had, I bought, really August. I bought two and they finally have started like drying out to where I could probably just use them as eyeliner, but they wouldn't hold as glue. Oh, they've changed the packaging. It used to have like a silver end on the end, but it's pretty much a liquid um, eyeliner glue. The reason I like these is because as much as my allergies go, when I get to sneezing and all that, the lashes are not sitting on my actual eyelashes. And so, like, prime example, let me show you today. I have on the Nobby, the N-A-B-I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And I think I have on the clear one. Yeah, so the lashes are, I just draw the eyeliner on and then I adhere them as close to my natural eyelashes as possible. So when I get to sneezing and doing all the stuff because Dallas Fort Worth has the worst allergies. Um, I mean, it's the worst place to live if you have allergies. That was on the news just a few days ago. I don't have to worry about my contacts or, you know, like the lashes, not being able to reuse them and stuff like this. So I have swapped from using like my duo glues or the brush on glues and all of that stuff to like the eyeliner glues and this is this is my preference i don't even gravitate to the other stuff no more and this is so quick i don't have to wait for nothing to dry down i literally draw my line uh if i'm doing a wing or whatever i do that and then i just apply my lash and boom i go on about my day if i have on eyeshadow this will still show up over the eyeshadow and that's another thing i like because you know sometimes when you have like liquid liners they don't show up as well, but if you want it even darker, I just go over it with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner um, to make it even, you know, just more precise if I'm wearing like a darker eyeshadow or something. I absolutely love, I used to buy Lily Lashes a lot. Now, I still go to like Jenny's and buy, like these are from Jenny's. I still go to Jenny's and buy lashes every now and then if I'm in a crunch but Lily Lashes was like my go-to. And then I kind of like started shying away from Lily Lashes once I found out about Fancy Goods. So this is the Steamy Lash, which is one of my faves. Um, Smitten, which is one of my faves. And Sinful, which uh, is another one of my faves, right? Now, she did have one that I wanted to try. I could have sworn that I got that one. Oh, no, I didn't because it was sold out. And I can't even remember the name. I would have to go back on the website. But they are so pretty on. And um, when you use stuff like this, the lashes last forever because you don't have any glue on the lash band. So that's another thing. Like, you could buy this lash 
And unless you do something to like where you have to just clean them, you will have them like for very long times. Plus the packaging is just super cute. That's by Chantel Jackson. And then I picked up another one because I'm a sucker for her headbands. This one I saw and I was like, oh my goodness. I just, it was a must. Ugh. This one is like the little leopard one. So these are good for like when you're doing your makeup applications. Um, oh Lord, I got this lace wig on. Is she gonna go? Oh, I think this one is just adorbs. Alright y'all, I'm not feeling good. I took my contacts out and put on my glasses because I keep dozing off. But I want to show y'all my baby's wig. She looks so pretty. Come see. Look how pretty this is. And she did it herself. Come closer so they can see. Look. What lace? What lace? What lace? Okay, back up a little bit because they see it. <laughs> it's super pretty. I like the color. Did okay. you shampoo your hair like I told you? No. So you just got yeah. all that oil underneath. I was supposed to do a shampoo treatment on her. So we oiled her hair last night and let her sleep with it overnight. And she, when she noticed I was sick this morning because I took ill last night, she gonna turn around and basically, I know I'm talking to y'all with my glasses, but it'd be all right. She gonna turn around and basically just put the oil Oh, baby, I'm trying so hard not to cough. I guess she braided it down with all that oil in her head and put the wig on top. I don't know, y'all, but I gotta... Baby, I'm gonna talk to you later, girl. Okay, so I got my six station set up. I slept on the sofa last night, right? And we got tested yesterday. Said no flu, no COVID. But I think it was, well, they said I tested too early, so we have to wait to find out. But this is my sick station. I have my stuff to rub on my feet, because I hate for my feet to be messed up. My eyeglasses, some medicine, just to help with all the symptoms. Some scented lotion so that I smell somewhat decent. I went to this place because I'm still not feeling good. I don't even know why, but I'm going to try to eat. I barely tasted anything. Literally like one grain of rice. A grain of rice. Grain of rice. And my stomach is in flips. But it's this new Indian's place. It's called Herbs Indian Restaurant and Bar. It's over here in Arlington. So I got a salad and I got some food. But yeah, before I jump into that... I'm gonna go to the restaurant because I feel like I have to vomit. February 25th, I'm still sick. Kind of getting better, but still sick, still coughing, still, you don't even want to know. So, um, I humanely killed one hen and one rooster to make room in the coop, even though it was supposed to fit about, uh, I think 12 to 14 chickens. <coughs> um. So I cleaned it, did all of that, and here we go. We have the hen, the rooster is in the box. I did a little stove top yams, some corn, some yellow rice. That's the meal for today. The rooster, I can actually um, cook him tomorrow. And I've already got him in there. So I know I haven't really been picking up the camera. I have been sick, so. And I'm about to do Sydney some twist, and we're gonna be 
we gonna be done. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's gonna basically be a workout day. I'm still sick. Cough drops in my mouth. Two cough drops in my mouth. To hopefully suppress this because I was vomiting last night as well. So, um, I don't know. I got to get up and get moving. That always makes me feel better. My house, you know, like when you're sick, your house and every fucking thing be a mess, baby. Everything, everything is a mess. So, I don't necessarily know what I'm about to do in the gym because I really didn't sleep last night. But, Robin and I are fixing to go. Crying. Not How do you feel about your workout from yesterday? I'm sore. Where are you sore? My buttocks. My we did legs and glutes yesterday. The front strings, the back string, everything just hurts. Let me see. Don't touch it. <laughs> this is day two of me feeling better. I have pulled out zero stuff. I'm gonna do my mustards and leeks. I ain't really. I I got the meal, but I ain't got the meal. So my rooster had a little slime on it, it had turned. I should have cooked it when I said I was gonna cook it and I tried to stretch it out to Sunday and I knew I should have put it in the freezer. So I hate for something that um, I butchered to lose his life and then we don't even eat it, right? So that's fucked up, but um, I'm gonna do my two-step chicken, which is like paste for Conte sauce, brown sugar, mustard, uh, rub and then I rub it all over and I bake it Chicken breast my mustards and leeks are going. I'm from the south. I like cabbage I like mustard greens over collard greens and I grew up eating turnip greens, too We would grow all our own stuff. So mustard greens it is <clears throat> I did say this only day two of me being better. I was debating if I was going to do rice dressing, but I think I'm gonna just do jambalaya I know lots of meat um and i'm gonna do box jambalaya because like i said i'm just starting to shake back so i'm not trying to over exert myself normally i don't even mess with no box jambalaya but it's gonna be quicker I've been able to edit or do anything because my laptop wasn't holding a charge. Dell came out here supposedly supposed to fix it, and from that moment on, it started talking about other issues that wasn't even issues before. So today he's supposed to be here between nine and ten. That's what he told me that it's going to take the whole day for him to fix it. So I'm hoping that my computers go back up because I've had some sponsorships I've had to pass up on I have content I cannot put out because I don't edit on my iPad I probably could but I don't all my footage is on 
Z computer. And then this is what it says. It's been a lot going on this week, so. Yeah, I'm gonna digress. Real quick, I don't even wanna go into the long story about it. I'm about to send it off through FedEx. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And although I don't, I was raised in a house where you don't go to sleep with dirty dishes. Like I said, with the sink and all that last night. And I ain't even about to lie to you. I ain't even about to front. It's nights I go to sleep and I wake up with dirty dishes because I'm literally the only person in the house that washes the damn dishes. So <laughs> it just be a lot between cleaning and maintaining the house and then still running the errands with the kids, doing my own things. Um, I don't always finish everything in one setting, so I gotta get to it as I get to it. My family used to tell me, like, the kids are old enough to, to start doing this and doing that, and I wouldn't want them doing stuff with chemicals. Not washing dishes, it's not chemicals. They've been washing dishes. They know how to wash dishes. Their little asses just don't wash them. I was watching Super Sent. She from New Orleans. You know, shout out to all my Louisiana people. Because your girl is definitely from Louisiana. I'm from Lake Charles. Um, I was watching her. And she was talking about <clears throat> why men feel like if you're trying to talk to them, or not you trying to talk to them, but if they're trying to talk to you, or if you know them, they could be a cousin, a brother, a best friend, um, lover, whatever it is, you know, somebody that's trying to court you, date you. Why do they feel if they say, if you ask them if they have kids and they say yes and their response is like oh i'm current on my child support i don't have no arrears or anything like that like why are people feeling like that's okay like as a parent you should have all the same shit that i have doing the same things that i do like and i'm down with that because i'm the type of person baby i, I pray because now i'm out here having to date after being divorced and my whole thing is this like you have to be very specific like usually i don't get into the nitty-gritty of what i i want god to send me right i don't do that i'm not a sierra's prayer person um what i do is i say god your will be done and that's what i ask for and i ask god to um help me to have clarity and to listen and to recognize his will and not mine's right so that's just how i pray i'm not saying that's how anybody has to pray i'm not saying you wrong if you was out here uh you know what is it um when you copy somebody's thing not copyright but i'm not saying if you was praying sierra's prayer that you wrong or anything like that because i think it was awesome for those people that don't know how to pray or are not exposed to praying that she helped them you know, develop a prayer thing, but you are not supposed to pray selfishly. So I'm saying all that to say, if you dating a man or if you're involved with a man and his thing is like, I'm current on child support and he don't have no relationship with his kids, he, ain't, he can't tell you what the hell is going on with his kids or anything like that, maybe reevaluate you, not him. Reevaluate you. Reevaluate you. Ask yourself, why is it okay? to date somebody like that are you dick distracted is it because of other things like reevaluate you because the truth is would you want somebody to do that to your children would you want somebody to have that mentality towards your children when you know what all it takes to raise a kid and deal with a kid and you know even the mental breaks you need as a kid i i totally agree 
Now, I've never been one to spend any support that I got from my kids on myself. I've always spent it on my children, right? But that support does not, you know, half the time they don't keep the medical support or the support is inconsistent. It's okay for the guy to, oh, I'm in between jobs, I'm this or I'm that, and, you know, I'm trying, I'm this. If I were to say, stop harping on me, if I were to say that I'm trying on every single thing, hell, Tony Robin and Sydney would be, <laughs> maybe, you, you see what I'm saying? So, just ask yourself, sis, why is it okay? Because, truth be told, my first marriage, um, he did when I was in college. We had, we had Tony, and Tony had a sister that was three months younger than her, right? Love this little girl, cutest little girl. Um, and I had my reservations about being married to him, and, you know, family was pushing different things because we had kids, and, he always threw up marriage and engagement and all that, and it just wasn't, I was a senior in college, that's, that was not, I wasn't even thinking about having a baby, just being honest. My children are my biggest blessings, but I wasn't sitting up there planning a baby or planning anything. Um, that baby talk started coming because I was infatuated with this man. And <clears throat> the truth of it is, <laughs> When the baby finally was in the oven and on the way, he backdoored and was like, literally, confessions came out at the same time. That was like my whole relationship with him. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say, my chick on my side says she's got one on the way. Yeah. Man, I'm throwed and I don't know what to do. I think I've got the mica. It can better. Let it go. Yeah, that, that was me, okay? So, um, song was real catchy when it came out until it came my motherfucking life. <sighs> so I woke up with him. I didn't want to be with him, all of that. He called my mom, my family. They all kind of like reeled me back in. Y'all got a baby. Y'all, a baby is not a reason to stay with somebody because inevitably, we, I still walked away from that marriage. I still walked away from that man because that was not for me. So this is what I'm telling you. Like, they have a good dad. I'll never say their dad is a bad dad. They have a good dad that truly does love them. But we are two different people. And just because we don't work don't mean that, you know, him and his kids don't work. But that situation wasn't for me. And I was having so many just pains and things and all kind of unnecessary shit. But honestly, it was because you can't fix everybody, sis. So stand somewhere where you know you shouldn't be because you don't want to like, I come from a very religious family, a, a very grounded family, a very good family, very middle class family. Um, two parent house homes, raising a house with my grandparents who were basically my parents and married 60 plus years. Um, I didn't see arguing in the home. I didn't see all these things in the home. So you can't say just because you saw something or you didn't go through something won't mean that you won't find yourself in those situations as you grow because guess what, you're your own person. You have your own life journey and in having your own life journey, you basically, um, <clears throat> how can I say this? You gotta learn what's for you and what's not for you on your own, right? Just cause your mama don't do something don't mean that you're not gonna do it. You know, that's why when people are like, oh, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Yeah, I get it. But we all have our own individuality and our own personalities, which is why I was telling you earlier, when I was talking to you earlier about, you know, paying attention to your kids and what's going on with them and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, not disregarding their feelings or feeling like, well, they shouldn't be depressed. They shouldn't have different things going on. You, you have to be paying attention. So I don't know when that saw me, it just kind of sparked in me to where I was like, let me talk, let me talk to friend cousin Bode and see where, what your thoughts are, because 
I know for me, me personally, I, I do agree. And there were people that didn't agree. Felt like, you know, that's that's wrong. Just this and that and that. She had her gender roles mixed up because she went into all kind of other stuff. I'm not really going into all of that. I'm just talking about the part about the the man having that concept of, oh, I pay child support. That's all I got to do. Like, I have cousins. I uh, <laughs> I have siblings, I have men in my family, um, and although they pay their child support, they are very, very, very involved in their children's lives. And that's what you want. That's what you want, unless the person was abusive, you know, to where y'all have to have a mediator or something like that. You want them to be a parent. Statistically, it's better for two parent households. Statistically, it's better when both parents are involved. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, having both parents involved is just all around better. Um, so like I said, but it, it, both parents have to be healthy. Both parents have to understand how to mediate, how to communicate. Um, both parents have to uh, be mature. Both parents have to respect each other's homes, boundaries, right? All of that stuff in order for it to, to work. I would not call my children's daddy and ask him shit about what he got going on unless it affects my children. And even then, I would still have just me because I would want the same in return. I would have a boundary. The only way I'm going to call him and ask him anything about a girlfriend or now his current wife would be is if it's what it was affecting my children. She did something to my children physically, mentally or emotionally to um, put them in harm's way or danger or um, not edify them. Right. And vice versa. I don't give a shit about who they daddy would date, who they daddy sleep with, what he doing. I don't care about none of that. And I'm not about to chase you down for no child support. I'm not saying I have to or I don't have to. What I'm saying is I'm not the one that's going to chase you down for no child support. I'm going to take care of Tony Robin and Sydney all day, every day, doing what I have to do. The state of Texas can do all of that. Why would I put that stress on myself? Why? Mm -mm. They have government officials that get paid to do and handle all that child. So I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying, reevaluate your stuff. Reevaluate your stuff, sis. And it's not just to my sisters, to my bros, too, because I know some of y'all got to put the mamas on child support. And, and facts, I had a whole uncle. He basically had his child, raised his child, got custody of his child. There are men these days that are getting custody of their children from the wives when they split. And it's not all because of them just being financially stable. So, yeah, reevaluate your situation. I'm going to get back to busting these suds. I done talked enough, child. So, as a parent and a Christian, you gotta support your children through everything, right? <laughs> Not only is this a peep, but it's a rainbow peep! Yay! We support Yay. you! <laughs>